Hi, it's Betsy Marshall for Managing Challenging Behaviors. We've been talking a lot about discipline to teach and guide. How do we teach our children what's expected? Um, punishment, if you have to do it. What are some appropriate means of punishment? Logical, natural consequences. And the last time I said, well, let's talk about corporal punishment. I, I do mention this because there are homes and families where culturally, traditionally, a child is punished by being um, hit. And I certainly can't condone that. Um, I don't condone that. But I know that it's something that we're doing. And I want to talk about that. In fact, I'll confess right now. I've done it. There was a time when my son, I won't, I won't mention which one, because I have three, but I won't blow them in. But he was picking his nose, picking his nose, and then eating it. And I told him over and over again, child, we don't do that. Don't do that. That's gross. Get a tissue. Here, use that. And there was a time when we were walking through a parking lot, and he did it, and I got very frustrated. And I smacked his hand. I remember it well. It was a very long time ago. I'm sure he doesn't even remember it. But I smacked his hand out of frustration because I have told him again and again and again, don't do that. And he continued to do that. So if some of you are hitting your children because you've got nothing left in your repertoire, in your toolbox of, I don't know what else to do. So I'm going to hit him. I'm going to smack his bottom or smack his hand. Or your attitude is, well, I was always hit, so I'm going to hit my child. I want you to be cautious about using that tool for managing behaviors. It is not a good idea. Research will tell you that. It's not just Miss Betsy telling you that. Research will say that is not effective. And I'm going to tell you some reasons why. Especially if you have a child who is physical. One of the behaviors we talked about at the beginning of this, what are you working on at your house? You want to help your child to listen to you, not be defiant, pick up their toys, go to bed at night, not hit. Okay, if you have a hitter, one who's hitting, kicking, biting, you can't possibly hit them then as a means of punishment. Because your message is, we don't hit. We don't hit in this house. We're not hitting. You're not hitting mommy. We're not hitting brothers or sisters. And now, wait, wait a minute, but I'm hitting you. Okay, very mixed message. Please stop hitting your child, especially if you have a child who's hitting. That is a very mixed message. We're bigger. We're stronger. We think, well, I can hit you. Well, of course you can, but it's not effective. It it makes your child fear you. It makes them feel uh, very vulnerable, oh, uh, and they already are. So please do your best to change that behavior if that's something that you do because, well, that's how you were raised, or you have nothing left in your toolbox, and you think that is the most effective means. It's not. It's absolutely not changing a behavior. Okay, so there are other things that you can do. Take a break if you are upset or angry or frustrated. Timeouts, we do a lot of timeouts with children. You sit in timeout, you're not listening. Okay, that's fine. If you have to do that, you know, four minutes for a four year old, more often than that, you need the timeout. Mommy needs a minute to calm down, mommy needs time to think about what to do. Take those minutes, take that time before you react. Uh, punishment is very reactive. I'm reacting to your behavior. And we do that sometimes in a physical way. I'm going to take care of you and plunk you down and paddle your bottom. Please take the time, take some breaths, take a walk. Take as much time as you need. A child's not going anywhere. You can come back the next day and say, yesterday you did this. If you need to take the time before you go back and say, now I need to think about what did you do and what am I going to do?
And again, it is enough to say, I am not happy with your behavior. You made mommy very, very angry. And now we need to come in, sit down, snuggle on the couch with a book, or you need to go and sit in this room for a few minutes till I calm down. So think about other things you can do besides corporal punishment, hitting your children, because that can be a very slippery slope. And I would rather you think about other kinds of consequences, even if it's just, let's put these toys away for a while and come and do something else, okay? So we'll leave you with that. Um, and I hope that you um, have learned a few things that you can kind of regroup and come to your children with a new attitude and uh, a thought process that says our job is at teachers and guiding behaviors and reach out to family friends, reach out to me. I'm easily accessed through emails and I can help to work out some of these things with you. So thanks for joining us.